All right, we are back. We're doing the dev rev. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt as the last two because uh, I'm just recording a whole bunch of these. Anyway, um, so last time we talked about kind of setting those big life goals, or at least, you know, the three-year goals. I find the three-year time horizon is pretty good. If you do a year, what I find is that I tend to think small, right? I'm like, okay, in a year I can get, you know, it's not a lot of time, so I'm, I'm only going to get this stuff done. Three years is enough to where I can be aspirational. I can go bananas, but at the same time, then I can also look at it and kind of rein it back in and go, okay, what is like two steps beyond real, what I think is realistic. And what's funny is, is usually what winds up happening when I do this is after three years, I'm like four or five steps beyond what I thought was realistic, but I can push that enough to actually push myself along. But anyway... So we've got these big goals. We know where we're going in three years. Okay. What do we do now? Well, let's, let's talk about it. Okay. So once you have that three-year goal, usually I like to kind of bring it back to about a year, right? So where do I have to be in a year in order to be able to hit the three-year goals? Okay. The problem is, is a year is still too long. Okay. I, I, I can't focus on anything for a year. I can focus on something for a few weeks. And if I'm really disciplined, I can focus on things for a few months. So that's what we're doing. And there's a book out there that I really love called The 12-Week Year. And it it walks you through a lot of this stuff. But uh, essentially, that's the pattern I follow. So 12 weeks is about three months. Um, 13 weeks is actually three months. And if you do 13 weeks times four, you come up with like two or three extra days in the year. So anyway, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a 12-week plan. Okay. And so we're going to sit down and we're going to go, okay, 12 weeks, let's do this. Okay. So what are we going to do in 12 weeks? Like, what are the things that we have to do every day? Right. So for my fitness goals, right. For the Ironman that I mentioned last time. Okay. So I'm training for an Ironman. The Ironmans fill up fast. So I haven't been able to register for one yet. Cause every time I go look, they're all sold out. New one, new one opens up, sells out. So I'm, I'm still working on which one I'm going to go run probably be toward the end of this year or early next year. But what do I have to do every day? Well, I have to go work out, right? Either I have to run or bike or swim. Okay. So I'm either going to run, bike or swim every day. Now for me, Sundays are a day that I, I rest and, you know, focus on God. Um, I also volunteer at church. So Sundays get a little bit busy sometimes. So Sundays are out, but the rest of the week, right? Six days a week. I'm working out. I'm either running, biking, or swimming. Okay. So that's easy, right? So I just write that down every day. Run, bike, swim, run, bike, swim. So that that's good, right? Um, maybe you're looking at your professional life and you're going, okay, well, what do I do there? Well, if you're going to do the podcast and, and if you join my program, you're going to do a podcast because you're going to do a podcast. That's, that's what we're doing. Um, then and, and it'll, it, it opens up all these doors. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so you do the podcast and you start um, putting these together, right? So maybe the first week you sit down and you say, okay, I'm going to make a list of all the topics that I want to cover. Or maybe you sit down and you say, okay, well, you know, week one, I'm going to make a list of all the topics I want to cover and all the influencers I want to get on the show, right? And what's funny is, is if you invite influencers, most of them are going to tell you yes. And if they tell you no, not. I was going to say that some of them will tell you why, but I find that's hit or miss, right? And if you ask them why, they're just going to ignore you, a lot of them. And it's because they're busy. It's not because they're jerks. It's just it's just the nature of the thing. But anyway, so, but if you sit down and you say, okay, well, I want to get all these people on my podcast and I want to cover all these topics on my podcast, right? And at the end of the three months, I'm hoping to have a few hundred listeners, right? Which is awesome, honestly. A few hundred listeners, if you imagine... A conference, like a kind of a medium sized conference, a few hundred listeners, that's the size of that audience, right? Um, I've been to NG Conf a bunch of times, been to Ruby Conf a bunch of times. Those are those tend to be like the seven, eight hundred to like 1500 people, right? And so you're not quite there yet, but in three months, a few hundred people, that's really, really good. And it actually puts you within the top like 10% of podcasters. But anyway, so. For the podcast, right? So the first week, maybe you're planning your content. 
Second week, you're going to record that first episode. The third week, you're going to record another episode, right? And so then you start breaking that down, right? So Monday, I'm going to prep. And Tuesday, I'm going to script, right? I don't script any of my shows. I just don't. I'm, I'm off the cuff. I'm off the cuff here. I don't script anything, okay? The only thing I script is eventually I'm going to read my book as an audio book. That's scripted because I'm reading the book, okay? Um, but for you, you may have to script it out. For some people, they just they just do, right? There's no wrong way to do this. Um, as long as it feels natural and connects with your audience, you're good. Okay. So, you know, prep, script, record, edit, release, right? That's five days. That's Monday through Friday. Okay. So maybe that's what you're doing or, you know, and then maybe in your next 12 week year, your next, um, three months, you're going to be, okay, I'm going to find a sponsor and I'm going to hire out the editing and posting, right? Cause that's work that I don't have to do. Right. And so you may, you may work that out and I'll, I'll teach you how to do all that stuff as part of next level mastermind. But, um, and next level mastermind is kind of a placeholder name. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to call it. I'm thinking like top 5% dev mastermind or something like that. That's not a mouthful. So anyway, but yeah, devchat.tv slash next level. That's, that's where it is right now. Okay. So anyway, um, so yeah, so that, that might be part of the plan, right? So for spiritual, maybe it's, you know, if you're, if you're not religious, right, it may just be, I'm going to meditate for 10 minutes every day. I'm going to do a guided meditation on this app, like the Calm app, right? Or I'm going to do, I found this, this uh, guided meditation series out there that I really like on a podcast or that I really like that I can buy, right? And I can download the album to my phone and I can just listen to it for 20 minutes a day and I can do guided meditations, right? Or in my case, it may be, I'm going to read this book, right? I'm going to read 10 pages out of, out of a religious text that's not scripture, right? So it's, it's a book written by a church leader or somebody who thinks about the same, you know, religious stuff that I do, right? Um, it could be, you know, for me, one of the things was going to the temple on a regular basis, right? So, um, but for me, it was like, I think it was monthly. It might have been weekly but I'm pretty sure I wrote down monthly, right? So I just planned my temple trip, right? And the temple's 20 minutes from here. So it's not a, it's not a problem for me, right? It's, some people aren't close. So I actually plan that, right? Um, maybe it's listening to a, a talk given by one of the church leaders or things like that, right? And so, you know, anyway, but you break that down, right? I'm going to do this every day. I'm going to do these activities in these weeks. I'm going to do these parts of these activities on these days, right? And then you go to your calendar and you put the time in, right? You're like in, 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 right? So that nobody takes that time over so you can get that stuff done. Because ultimately, if they're coming to you, yes, it may be an opportunity that you want to take advantage of. But if it takes you out of the place where you're actually executing to get what you want, it's not worth it, okay? And so you work that around the other stuff. Now, if somebody came to me, right, and they said, look, you know, big name so-and-so wants to, you know, let's say Joe Rogan, right? Big podcaster. And I don't know what he has to say that's relevant to my audience, but I'm pretty sure that we'd get a pretty serious bump, right, on the podcast. So I'd be like, okay, opportunity, right? And they're like, the only time he can talk to you is Tuesday at blah, blah, blah. And I have it scheduled for this other thing. I will just reschedule the other thing. That is fine, right? I will reschedule the, record the video for this thing, right? And I will talk to Joe Rogan, right? Um, realistically, that's not going to happen, okay? But you get the idea, right? So you, you can move it around, but you've got to be committed to actually getting the stuff done. And so if you move it, you're making a commitment to yourself that you're still going to do it, okay? So yeah, so that's the plan. That's what we do. And uh, yeah, if you actually sit down and you do this every three months, you will be amazed at the, the amount of progress you make, okay? So I'm going to stop here because it's, it's a good place to stop, but yeah. So take that three-month plan that you did and go to a year so you can kind of visualize what you've got to get done in that year and then just grab that three-month chunk and just plan it, okay? And uh, you can see I have calendars up you know, in my office, I've got one here, I've got one over there. Um, I've got another one right down here. Um, you know, the one month, three month and the yearly, right. 
And the reason is, is because then I can visualize the process for this. I can, I can see it. So that's what I recommend that you do is just sit down and just plan it out. I mean, if you're just going to sit, you just open a Google doc and just be like week one, boom, week two, boom, week three, boom, and then open your calendar and put it in. All right. So that's your homework is go plan the next three months. Okay. And uh, we'll, we'll jump in. We'll probably talk a little bit about podcasting next time. Okay.